we come to the end of Hosea, a book filled with judgment towards Israel and Judah, we can be tempted to uh, disconnect ourselves from the application because, after all, what does this have to do with me? But let me challenge that notion this morning, starting out by reading verses 1 through 3. Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God, for you have stumbled because of your iniquity. Take with your words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Take away all iniquity, except what is good, and we will pay with bulls the vows of our lips. A cereal shall not save us, and we will not ride on horses, and we will say no more, our God, to the work of our hands. In you the orphan finds mercy. We may not be paying for sin through sacrifice, or relying upon Assyria for our protection, but let's look at the heart of the issue for one moment. At its core, Israel had put their confidence for security and peace in a nation rather than God. In fact, they placed their confidence in the work of their own hands, meaning idols that they themselves had created. So how can we apply this to our own lives? Ask yourself this, does my love for God supersede all other aspects of my life? Now, just to be clear, I'm not saying you're committing idolatry if you love football because you, I seriously doubt you have a shrine dedicated to it and are trusting it for salvation, as the Israelites were with their idols. What I am saying, though, is that we have the propensity to elevate things we're passionate about to an unhealthy level until they become a distraction from what truly matters in life. We begin looking at political candidates, sports teams, and even our hobbies for a sense of peace and comfort rather than trusting in the true author of all peace. Our unfaithfulness towards God isn't through worship of graven images, but it can be through apathy towards God and an elevation of temporal things. Today, let's pray that God would change our hearts so that we have a true desire for him, one that allows us to say, no matter what state or condition we are in, that he alone is our shield and our exceedingly great reward.